What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, in this one I'm going to show you how to make the Hello Neighbor Act 3 house in Minecraft, this is part number 3, now, there are some things that I have noticed that are incorrect compared to the game, I will show you two of them and I will try to avoid the general, well I'm going to go towards the general area because it's part of my plan, however I'm not going to, um, I'm going to make sure that this is, this actually does get fixed, um, there should be two windows here, roughly, like, that we'll say so we'll get to that later and I'll just roughly place them also no idea what happened here but basically there should be walls around this area I need to go into the game to figure out what this looks like because I actually don't remember if this part should be walled off or not but this ladder is here oh that ladder is a mistake I think it's supposed to be a wall however I'm not a hundred percent sure so, um, I will have to go into the game for that, but somebody in the comments, please remind me of that, or I will pin my own comment, although this is the day after I am recording this, uh, per, as per usual. So, anybody that is watching this video, please remind me in the comments, because, um, you know, and uh, I know a lot of people watch the first two parts, which is insane, thank you guys for that. Also, at the time of recording this, I am two subscribers away from 500. Which is ridiculous, and I kind of said that lacklusterly, which really, uh, I should have had more enthusiasm, because, well, it's a lot more crazy than you're anticipating. Alright, so, what you should have is this. To start off, you're going to want to get out pillar quartz blocks, red concrete, glass panes, shush. Light blue concrete, yellow concrete, oak wood slabs, dark oak wood stairs, and dark oak planks. So here we have this pillar quartz block right here at the front left. So if we're at the front of our build, you want to come to this one, and you're going to want to bring this right by 10. Make this 10th tenth, tenth block into a vertical pillar quartz block, and then you want to bring that backwards by 2. Oh yeah, also get out spruce wood planks. Whoops. Fill in this little gap here with spruce. Also, one more thing about that, uh, where the window is supposed to be. I don't know if that's actually the color of spruce. Let me check. Because I think I should have an image of that. Amongst my many images. Um, it is... It is brown. Okay, cool. However, I don't think I have an image of... what. I don't have an image of that. Of course I don't. Um... But, um... Yeah. So it is brown, and I did get that correct. It's like more of a... Um, like, a, the Acacia in the City texture pack is more what it is. Alright. At the front, only this front row of pillar quartz, you want to place six rows of red concrete on top. Again, keeping in mind, actually, I'm going to do this first. Keeping in mind that I do not, I'm not 100% positive that the interior works on this, however, a lot of people have already started following this, and it's probably too late for this if you are following this. But, you know... Going left to right on top of that, you want to place two red concrete, leave a one block gap, one red concrete, one block gap, and the rest of the row wants to be red concrete, which should be six, I believe, yes. Copy that row one more time, and then place a row of red concrete on top. I know, like, I think three people started on this. I I've, I know of, like, two or three people that have started building this, which, thank you for that. That does mean more than you probably think it does, because I, I go through the pain to actually do this. This was not the intention of making this. I made this for fun. But the fact that it's turning into a tutorial now, and that people are following it, it definitely does something. Because the intention of this was not originally to be a tutorial. However, I decided to turn it into one, because I know people like my design. Which, thank you for that as well. 
All right, this left row of pillar quartz, you also want to place a row of red concrete on top. Only one. Going front to back, you want to place a glass pane, red concrete, glass pane, the rest of the row wants to be red concrete. Copy that row one more time. What was that? Uh, you can leave that blank, I guess, for now. And then... What you're gonna want to do now is... Come to this... The front of this yellow concrete section right here. This, where this little stick out is. Alright, so, okay, let me just make sure you know where I am, because I cut that out, because I made a mistake. Oopsies, yeah, I'm honest here. From this, I, I don't know why I said it that way, but from this pillar quartz block, this front left corner of yellow concrete, you want to count up until you're above the red concrete by a block, and then you can just place a placeholder. Go, b b count forward by two blocks, and you want to go left with a sideways pillar quartz block. I'm stupid, because I didn't check the thing I wanted to check, so let's do it on recording, shall we? Because I'm too lazy to edit. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's how far to the left you want to extend it. 11. Cool. No, wait. Frick. Yeah, that is how far. Okay, so extend that left by 11. So it should be overhanging the red concrete by a block. And then you can make this a um, vertical one. You then are going to want to bring this um, first pillar quartz block you place backwards by four with spruce planks. Down diagonal with a pillar quartz block. Bring that pillar quartz block left by ten. Make sure this end one is a vertical one. And then you can just bring it back by... Fourteen, and again, make sure that this one is vertical. All right, so come to the bottom section with this yellow one, where you kind of have like a um, weird hole here. You want to bring the top pillar quartz and the bottom pillar quartz backwards by eleven. So it should be one block short of this pillar quartz block. And again, make sure the end ones are vertical, and then you want to connect them together. Just like that. Fill in this gap here with yellow concrete. On top of this row of pillar quartz block, you, blocks, you want to place a row of red concrete. And to the right of that, or to the left of that row of red concrete, you want to place a row of oak wood slabs. This is that little ledge where there's the handle here to drain the, um, I believe it's the vault room where you get the guitar, the guitar. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Alright, then, going front to back, you want to place, or sorry, back to front, you want to place two red concrete, glass pane, red concrete, do a one block gap, and then place six red concrete. So if you want to go front to back, it'd be six red concrete, one block gap, red concrete, oopsies, glass pane, two red concrete. I know that's confusing, but this is what you should have. You then want to take this pillar quartz block right here. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm jumping around, but the the first row that we placed on this left side here, you want to come back to that, and you want to bring it backwards by five. And then, again, make sure this end one is vertical. You're going to have these two little gaps right here. This one's very little. You want to fill them both in with spruce wood planks. We are making some good progress here, and I am happy with it. Considering this is part three, we've already done a lot. But also because I'm kind of a quick mover, which is sometimes a problem. Just like this. All 
I believe you want to place four rows of yellow concrete on top of that front row of pillar quartz blocks. Let me double check that because, again, I don't want to have it wrong. I was correct. Okay, good. But I don't ever want to wing it because then I feel like I'll make a mistake and then that's a whole different problem. But this front row of uh, pillar quartz, you want to place four rows of yellow concrete on top. Um, I think I actually can figure out the window pattern. Can I? I can see half of it, but I can't see the other half, so that doesn't do much good. But, uh, where shall we go next? Oh, not into a wall. See where you have this, like, gap here? You kind of want to basically connect this corner to this corner, and then you want to fill it in, fill it all in with red concrete. Just like this, this little square. It's not very little. Well, is it a 6 by 6 No, it's a 6 by 5 I don't know what the edge is, 7x6, but whatever. And then you're going to have these two little rows on the right side, and you're going to you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna want to fill them in with red concrete as well. Struggles. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Okay, I actually want to get this done because I noticed this and now I really want to do this because I'm impatient. Alright. So, where you have this um, pillar quartz right here, you want to bring it up by one and then left and right by three. And making sure that the far right block is vertical. I want to, again, I want to double check that because... I feel like I my brain just died. No, it was three. Cool. And I also want to double check this to make sure that it is four, which it is. And then, okay, well we don't have we don't have the material on us on on us. So yeah, just like that. All right, you want to come out of the back side, and what you want to do is where you have this. Give me a moment to just swipe. Oh, that was very satisfying. <laughs> we have this red concrete section right here, this wall. You want to... Basically, where this corner is, you want to place a pillar quartz there, and then you want to bring it up by five. You then want to go backwards by five. Actually, technically, forward by five. And then... That's... That's a problem, is what that is. Okay, no, it isn't. Never mind. Uh, where you have this lead blue terracotta section, you want to place a pillar quartz row at the end of it. Uh, I'll just just make it too tall, because I think that's all you're gonna see. Yeah. All right, where you have this section now, you want to basically come to the uh, far side of it, and you want to bring this left by two. And then bring it down by bring bring this corner left by two and then down to the down by five or four. And then you also want to connect it uh forwards to the same spot. Fill in that little gap with spruce wood planks and then fill in your three side gaps with yellow concrete. I know that explanation was horrible and I'm sorry for the terrible explaining that I'm doing right now, but it is what it is. And then, um, we're gonna, I guess, kind of build the light blue terracotta wall in the back. Alright. Now, to the right of this section from my perspective. So, if you're looking towards the front of the build, you want to place, inwards a row, you want to place two light blue concrete moving up, and then a sideways light, or sideways pillar quartz block on top. Just like this. You then want to bring four spruce wood planks going backwards, technically. It's going towards the front of the build, though. Oh, I don't actually have light blue terracotta on us, darn. Get rid of your oak wood slabs and get out light blue terracotta. Shush. 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 <laughs> And basically, you want to bring these two pillar quartz blocks um, backwards with light blue terracotta, connect in the middle, and then bring the middle up by two with glass panes. Surround it in light blue terracotta. 
And then you want to bring this wall left by... Left until it's in line with this section. And you also want to bring this pillar quartz box... Pillar quartz block up until it's one block taller than the light blue terracotta. And then you want to bring it right by one from my perspective with a vertical one. And then place three pillar quartz blocks. Bring it towards you with three. Right with two. Then towards you diagonally by one. Forward one and then right one. Just like that. So from the front of the build it should look like this. And then again turn your corners into um, vertical ones. Except Actually, no, dude, dude, don't do anything here. Leave that open. I don't know why it's open like that, but it is, so we won't question it. Okay, yeah, there definitely should be a wall here. We we don't have, um, I don't have the correct uh, placements in the, uh, on, the, on my build to be able to figure that out, so. And then you kind of want to fill in this gap right here in with light blue terracotta. Sorry if this is confusing, but I'm going to kind of do a brief uh, look over. So basically, what we've done so far in the entire part, because I do want to clarify this, because I know it's been very quickly paced and also confusing. Basically, we brought this right by 10, I think. Yes. We brought the front up with six rows of red concrete. We then built in these two windows with two on the left and then six on the right. Row of red concrete on top. Two windows here on the left. I don't need to tell you the numbers for that. And then we basically, from this pillar quartz, we counted up by five. Counted forward by two. And then brought this left until it overhung this by one. And then brought it backwards by five. Filled in the floor that. Placed four rows of yellow concrete on the front. Brought this section back by ten, I believe. No, eleven. Um, made this little area, extended this across as well, and then we came over here, we added this little T, oh yeah, you can also film this 3x3 now with light blue terracotta, and then we came around to the back, we extended out this pillar cords block, this should be vertical again, and then we added this little section right here. Brief overview, and how long did that take? That all took 20 minutes, roughly. Probably less than that. Alright, come back to the front of your building. We're going to work on this section again. You want to place a row of dark oak wood planks on top of the front that extends to the left and the right by one. And then you want to surround that in dark oak wood stairs on the front, right, and left. And then you want to bring this backwards on the left until it is basically where it would be touching the yellow concrete. Now I know this window pattern. Nice. I think. I think it's 2111-2112. Okay, no, it's... Oh, no, that's not even symmetrical. Never mind. So 2113-1111. So going right to left on top of this, you want to place two yellow concrete, glass pane, yellow concrete, glass pane, three yellow concrete, glass pane, yellow concrete, glass pane, yellow concrete. Copy that row one more time. And you want to place a row of spruce wood planks on top of that. We're going to, um... We're going to kind of touch that up, though. Because I know that's not fully correct. Yes, on the left three blocks, you want to change it to yellow concrete. And I'll actually, you can do it on the fourth block as well. Alright, and then from that yellow concrete, you want to bring it forward with three pillar quartz blocks. And then right until it touches the dark oak wood stairs. So it should be directly above it. 
the block before the dark oak stairs, which is this one, should be in line with this uh, fourth window here, the first one that we ended up placing on the yellow concrete section. You want to go up by four, right by four, and then down by four. Connect left. And then you want to make this one into a horizontal one, this one into a vertical one, this top right top right corner vertical, bottom right corner horizontal, and then bottom left corner over here should be vertical. Just like this. You're going to want to bring up all of these pillar cords blocks right here with up with four light blue concrete. You then want to basically, at the right side here, um, did I do this? Did I look at this? Okay. You want, okay, what you want to do is you want to ignore this section for now, and then come to the left. Over to this section. This bottom left-hand corner pillar cords blocks back here, you want to go right by, or left by four, or sorry, right by four. And then up by five, and then connect left. Make sure that this one is um, horizontal, this top corner right here, and the bottom should also be horizontal. Then extend the top um, right by an additional two, and the bottom until it touches that wall, this wall right here. Make it so that the um, the two these two rows want to be yellow concrete right there, and then you want to place a th you want to place going all the way with a row with a uh, low row of yellow concrete. I'm gonna double check this again. Sorry, I've been flying back and forth so much. It's just because this house is starting to make my brain explode. Okay, it doesn't actually want to go that far. So you just want to have four rows going that direction. Four yellow concrete. Four additional yellow concrete, I think. So this corner block right here, you want to place a light blue concrete in. Just like this. And then bring it left by nine. Or backwards by nine, sorry. Then you want to bring it left by two. And then place a vertical pillar quartz block. You're going to place an additional row of that on top of itself. And then going from the first block that we placed to the last block, you want to place three light blue concrete, glass pane, light blue concrete, glass pane, four light blue concrete, then actually six total, and then a pillar quartz block. Copy that row one more time. And then place a little light blue concrete on top of all of that except for the pillar quartz block, which must come up with a pillar quartz block. You then want to place behind this section right here, this wall, you want to place going right of it four rows of spruce wood planks. Actually, I stand corrected, three, I believe. I gotta check this. Um, I'd rather check it to be sure. Yeah, it's three rows. I'd rather check it to be sure than be wrong. And then the second block inwards from the so the second block inwards from the back, which is this block, you want to place pillar cords block behind, and then it wants to go down by one additional block below it. Actually, sorry, two. You then want to connect it to that pillar cords right there. And then this one you want to get rid of, and you want to bring this forwards, and then bring this one straight across until it connects to here. So it connects to there. 
So you have a little intersection right there. And then fill in these two gaps with spruce wood planks. And then you want to fill in the wall gap here at the front with yellow concrete, just as one row. And then the side you want to leave blank because I'm not 100% sure about that. But once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your that is part three of Hello Neighbor Act Three complete. Um, I wanted to tackle that. I didn't. We did not end up getting to it. I wanted to tackle more of this entire intersection actually, but um, I came across the problem that kind of screwed me over. So I think next episode I will try to, or next part, I will try to figure out what I have to do with um, this area over here. And then also with the, what was the other thing? I don't remember what the other thing was. To be completely honest, I f totally forgot. Oh yeah, one more thing. This roof right here, you just want to kind of punch a hole in. It doesn't really need to be perfect, just kind of... Like that, just so you can go and get into it. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We are definitely going along. That's, I'd say that's half the house, honestly. The fact that the Let's Build took, what, 13 for the exterior or something like that. And the, we've almost completed this in three is insane. Especially since most of those parts were longer than this. But, um... We'll see how the um, last few parts go. But anyway, have a fantastic rest of your day and night. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.